Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Just another quick one today, but I want to give you guys another PC update to fill you in on what event quests are coming your way very soon. If you missed the video the other day, then the Autumn Festival is coming to PC on October 5th, and it'll run till October the 18th. But at the time of making that video, the event quest schedule had not been updated, so we didn't know exactly what quests would be available during the Autumn Festival. But today, the official site has updated with the complete list, so I figured I'd put together a quick video going over everything you need to know, because there's one quest for sure that you won't want to miss. Of course, if you do enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions. Now, if you want to check out any of these quests for yourself, I will also link the official website down below with the event quest schedule. That's the list of what's currently available and what's coming up in the immediate future. But for those of you that perhaps missed the previous video I did on the PC Autumn Festival, then if this is your first time experiencing one of these events, one of these festivals if you will, then during that time all previous event quests that have been in rotation before will return for the duration of the festival, and they often throw in some new ones too. And the very first one worth talking about is of course the quest titled Every Hunter's Dream. This is the quest you need to complete to get the Wyvern Ignition Rocket Powered Greatsword. This is an incredibly good weapon, it is the best greatsword in the game, and it actually came out of the community weapon design competition that Capcom ran at launch. This was a community creation that Capcom brought to life, and they did so in the best possible way. This weapon has a ridiculously high base raw attack, and white sharpness, and it's for that reason it's fast become the go-to greatsword for most high damage builds. Since greatsword is a weapon typically chosen for its raw power, rather than its element, it's no wonder this is a one-size-fits-all weapon. So this quest, among others, will be available during the Autumn Festival from October the 5th to the 18th. So if you don't do anything else, then make sure you at least do this quest. However, that's not all, there are a few others I'll very quickly call out. Keep in mind that not all the quests will lead to cool new armor and weapons, some of them are just meant to get some parts, armor spheres, decorations, that sort of thing. But there are some other armor related ones too. The quest Scrapping with the Shamos will allow you to craft the Sealed Eye Patch Alpha, which is a helmet item that looks remarkably like Solid Snake's Bandana, so that's a fun one to go after. You also have the quest Wiggle Me This, where you have to go out and catch a bunch of Wiggler, and in return that will let you craft the Wiggler Helmet, which has wide range on it. So despite the goofy look, it's actually pretty useful. The quest A Flash in the Pan will allow you to craft the Shadow Shades armor piece, another head item that is quite simply a pair of shades. And the quest Egg Lovers United will give you the materials needed to craft the giant Kuliaku helmet. Those are the only quests coming to PC that lead to weapons and armor pieces during the festival. There are of course quite a few event quests that still need to make their way to PC, but for the time being, those are some to focus on. Outside of that, some of the other quests are good for materials and also gold crowns, so it's worth your time completing them during the Autumn Fest. Again, if you want to check out the complete list, then you can check out the link down below, but otherwise, that's it for now. Your Autumn Festival begins next week, so hopefully you'll have fun with it, and of course, keep it locked for much more Monster Hunter World content. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arax Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.